In a DRI process, the iron ore is reduced to sponge iron with the help of elementary carbon produced from coal and dolomite. The quality of iron ore available is generally poor, leading to the generation of poor quality sponge iron. While crushing the iron ore, considerable amounts of fines or waste materials are generated. Large quantities of these fines are accumulated at the crushing plants. Pelletization is an agglomeration process to turn the waste materials into spherical pellets. Pelletization is recommended for the following conditions. Fines of good quality, high-grade iron ores which cannot be processed directly due to softness low-grade iron ores which are not suitable for direct processing. Beneficiation is used in the last two conditions. Iron ore fines are processed at the beneficiation plant. Washing or electric concentration method is used. Then the iron ore fines are dried. The dried fines are passed through a ball mill to grind to a predetermined size which is normally minus 200 mesh. These ground fines are stored in a bin. Hydrated lime and bentonite are used as additives. All these three materials are stored in separate stock bins. Sometimes coke fines are also added. With the help of the dosing equipment, that is the way feeders, the required amount of these materials are conveyed to a mixer. The moist mixed material is stored in a bin. Through a screw feeder, the mixed material is fed into a disc pelletizer for the formation of green pellets. The green pellets are screened for the removal of the fines. Through a roller conveyor, the green pellets are passed into a travelling furnace and a rotary kiln or a straight grade furnace. Iron ore pellets provide better yield than lumps. For optimum energy savings, online pelletization plant of lower capacity should be installed In this process, the iron ore pellets in hot condition are directly transferred to the DRI kiln, thereby eliminating the requirement of additional coal and increasing production by 10 to 15 percent. For a 100 TPD DRI plant, use of iron ore pellets vis-a-vis -vis lumps leads to the following benefits. 50% increase in sponge iron production annually, 70% reduction in generation of sponge iron fines, 20% reduction in specific consumption of iron ore per tonne of sponge iron, 15% reduction in specific consumption of coal per tonne of sponge iron, 15% reduction in the fixed cost component for production due to increase in production. The gross profit envisaged for a 100 TPD plant works out to be 3.36 crore rupees annually for a pellet-based plant compared to about 2 crores for a lump-based plant. Thus, switchover from lumps to pellets can lead to an additional annual monetary saving of 4 crore rupees. Thus, estimated investment of 16 crore rupees can be recovered within 4 years. The switchover from lump to pellets can save 126 terajoules of energy annually, leading to GHG emission saving of around 12,000 tons of carbon dioxide per year for a 100 TPD plant.